I bet a lot of you have plenty of washes, plenty of waxes, plenty of glass cleaners in your garage, but how many of you actually have clay? In fact, a clay kit. We get a lot of calls today and what is it, when do I use it, and how do I use it? And this is actually a vital part of the entire paint care cycle. In fact, clay is designed to really be a part of the preparation process prior to waxing. And we get asked all the time, when do I clay? Well, that's pretty easy. The first thing you're going to want to do is wash and dry this vehicle and then simply take your hand and run across like this. And if that feels like sandpaper, it's definitely telling you you need to clay because those are actually bonded contaminants uh, like fallout, overspray that have landed on your paint and actually bonded and need to be removed and that's where clay comes into play. Again, clay comes before waxing. So it's as easy as taking out the clay in the package, peeling it in half and making yourself a small little patty. Take the lubrication that comes within our smooth surface clay kit and begin to lightly work that clay across all those surfaces that again feel like sandpaper. And as you're working this, you're actually going to feel that it becomes smooth right before your sensations of feeling it. Man, that's starting to feel really good now. And a couple tips you're going to want to think about is as you're working this, make sure and continually flip that clay over because what you're doing is picking up all those particles that could potentially scratch if you're not careful. So don't be alarmed by that, but just keep it lubricated. Wipe that surface off. Feel it, and that's what it should feel like. And if you notice your clay as you're beginning to use it, you'll see brown, you'll see green, you'll see all those contaminants get transferred to here. And it's very important to fold that clay over while you're working find a fresh piece of clay, mat it back out, and continue that process around that entire vehicle. And eventually what's going to happen is, as you're molding this clay and working it, you're not going to find a fresh piece of clay. That's going to tell you, toss it out, get a new piece, mat it out, and keep working. One last tip is if you happen to drop this on the floor, and we've all done it unfortunately, is to get rid of that piece of clay because that has some pretty big particles and pebbles in it. Toss it, you don't want to risk scratching that surface. Once you've done that entire paint, including glass, then you can go on to waxing and that's going to not only help your wax last longer, but again, that feel is fantastic.